Most of our definitions of things are smaller than the things themselves. They confine what the experience is. So this is one word that I've always had um, questions about what it meant and when does someone become a friend? You meet someone at a party or someplace, the library, wherever. Then you meet them again somewhere. Then you might meet them a few more times and have them over for dinner or go to a movie with them or something. They were an acquaintance. They were someone you met at a party. Time passes. Perhaps at some point you call them a friend. You don't call someone a friend when you first meet them. So it has to do with accumulating history and experience. That person then that eventually you might call friend, you would never have considered that they would be a friend when you met them. Something happened, time passed, and then you think of them as a friend, perhaps. What makes that happen? I've always been intrigued by that. Then, of course, after friend, it becomes family. Not blood family, but someone that's so close to you that they're, they're family. What makes that happen? What's the turning point? Once I asked a friend of mine about this, how do you know somebody's your friend? I had just figured out what I thought the answer was to that question and presented it to him. The question was if somebody called me at 2 a.m. and woke me out of a sound sleep and said they were stuck on a freeway. Could I come and get them? And I said, I'll be right there. Hung up, got in the car and went. That meant we were friends. He said, no, that's not it, Margaret. That's not it. The question is, would you call him if you were stuck 